guys. How's it going? Uh, yeah, I am your host. Welcome back to the Midvale Main Street Theater podcast. And um, today's episode is it's a really special one. Um, a couple exciting things actually going on. We have our first sponsor, number one, which is very cool, very exciting. We'll get to that in a little bit, but uh, just as exciting to me, uh, we have my first, we have my guest, Michael Howell on the podcast today. How are you doing, Michael? Oh, you know, okay, okay, I guess. Um, I'm glad to be on the same show that you decided to sell out on, I guess. Oh, well, you know, you got to bring home the big bucks somehow. Oh, yeah, no, that makes sense. That does make sense. Your four listeners are really going to be paying those bills, aren't they? Oh, well, <laughs> you know, f- you know. first of all, I'm very happy with all my listeners, so I th- thank you to everybody that's listening. But, w- you know, what's with the attitude, man? I, you seem a little edgy. Are you, are you just getting out of rehearsal or something? Edgy? Huh? <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say that. You could just, you could say that. Um, you know, I just, I spent three hours working my ass off on stage, then had to come on this podcast where I talk to you about God knows what. So, <laughs> so what you're saying is that singing and dancing with your friends for hours has really got you beat, huh? What is that supposed to mean? I just. <laughs> You know, fuck, man. I'm, I, I invite you on my own podcast to, you know, talk to you about something that you love, and you just come in and you just like start shitting all over, all over it from out of nowhere. It's just crazy. No, 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 no. no. What did you mean? Are you saying that what I do isn't difficult? No, of course not. I'm just saying. No, 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 no. I think I get it. You think that me going right after work to a hot theater to dance Chantel's fucking choreography until I'm blue in the face just for some random reviewer to not mention me in their review isn't. Hard. Hard. Of course, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying not is... Not cool, man. You know, I just have to say, I have to say it. I feel like you're really off base it's with this. It's not cool. It's not cool. Imagine if you were to put in the hours and hours into this fucking podcast you do for no one to listen to. Oh, wait. That's already happened. Have some fucking respect, man. I don't know where the fuck this aggression came oh, from, but I just wanted to have you on the podcast because people seem to respect you, and I just wanted to fucking talk, okay? All right. Can we do that? Can we just fucking talk, please? All right, yes, yes. Why don't you start over? Oh, can we do that? Can we start over and not immediately jump down my throat? Start fuck, over, man. man. That's what I'm telling you. Start over. I would love to. Okay, good. Good. Go ahead. Okay. All right. Fine. Well, fine. welcome back to the Midvale we Main go. Street Theater podcast. I am your host, and I'm with Michael Howell today. Uh, Michael, you know you've you've been in some interesting roles, shall we say? Uh huh. You know you've been Riff Raff in Rocky Horror, uh, William Barfay, and stuff like that. I'm just uh, what my question is, I guess, and what I'm curious about is how does it feel to know that the only reason you've been given parts is because of your penis? Really? That's your first question? I'm just saying that it must feel weird to know that if it, it weren't for your penis, you wouldn't be getting the roles that, that you have. It, it must be. Well, I guess it'd be as weird as kissing Tammy's Ross's ass every day. Okay, what is that supposed to mean? I think you know exactly what it means, Mr. Midvale Main Street Theater Podcast. <laughs> oh, this is funny. So egocentric that I use my own voice this during the intro, funny. the advertisements, <laughs> and the ending to my fucking podcast. Then I get to just slap Midvale's name on it like a, like it means I have any fucking power at all. Power, power, come it's on, man. It's a joke. It's a joke, Michael. I mean, seriously. Who do you think you're fooling with this? I'm not fooling anybody. <laughs> I agree. I'm not trying. Trying to fool anybody, okay? I just want to talk about what people love to do. Oh, and talk about all your favorite stories. No, and talk to people about what they do and why they do it. Is that such a fucking crime? No, the real crime is you can't fucking let go of Rent. Oh, geez, here we go. Rent was six years ago, jackass. You have to oh, get really? over it. Oh, really? Really? Well, I guess we just don't need to bring up the fact that you lost out on Moritz and Brad and most recently fucking Galileo, huh? Oh, real nice. Real nice bringing up all the parts I didn't get. For your information, I didn't even fucking want Galileo. Oh, you come. Come on, you're just saying that to cover up the fact that you fucking lost fair and fucking square to someone better than you. Hey, just because Cody's more talented. No, dumbass, I said better. Oh, fuck you. Fuck me, huh? Fuck, yeah, fuck you. you. Fuck you. You're the one Bring coming on this show, deciding to be asshole. a total douche and ruin this you fucking don't see me interview. Going you know, shit you don't about your seem... stupid fucking little show. Hey, remember how many people vomited when they saw you in that skin tight black hey, jumper? Hey, do you think you'll say more than a hundred ums this episode, jackass? You do. Oh, every I haven't episode. said um once this episode jackass i'm the jackass huh you are the jackass you mother candy ass needing to cut your cheese come on down to charlie's cheese cutting conservatory on the corner of Shart street and 7300 south at charlie's you'll always feel welcome from the moment you step inside till the moment you toot on home 
you'll be greeted with the warmest of chocolate air fresheners, fragrant foofs, and air biscuits. You'll find the biggest selection of cheeses in the valley, including cheddar, mozzarella, brie, shiitake mushrooms, and chocolate cottage cheese. We're not kidding when we say we'll bring the thunder from down under, as we also have the biggest selection of Australian cheeses you'll ever see. We're very proud to be the only cheese company endorsed by the band, the Airborne Toxic Event. So drop the kids off at the pool and stop by at Charlie's Cheese Cutting Conservatory on the corner of Chartres Street and 7300 South. Open weekdays till 8, Saturdays till 5, closed Sunday. And as an added bonus, mention you're with the MMST podcast when you check out and you'll receive your very own bottled poop ghost. Your smelly specter you get to queef. Uh, excuse me, que- keep. Stop on by and cut your cheese today. I have to hear you sing into the mic off key one more you know, fucking why the time. Why fuck are you even doing this show, huh? <laughs> why? Yeah, that's what I fucking asked. Because people give a shit, that's why. Oh, really? Your four listeners? Uh, try double that. Your fucking four listeners give a shit why Johnny Shitbag gave his character some fucking accent? It's in the script, idiot. You know what? Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Sorry. I don't. Uh, yeah, sorry if you don't give a shit about what we do here, but we do give a shit. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm the one that gives a shit way more than you do. I'm the one up on that fucking stage all the time. You don't see me feel the need to talk about why I made my character wipe his ass a certain fucking way. Well, some of us do give a shit about that. <laughs> Come on, man. Your show is a fucking podcast about a hobby. This show might as well be stamp collecting with Mike. Hey, hey, I found this stamp of Heidi Klum's ball sack, you idiot. Oh, Heidi Klum, huh? Really timely reference there. You know what I fucking mean, dude. Why don't you just let us do our thing and get the fuck on with it, huh? Do you want to know why? Seriously? Seriously, you want to know why? Well, I'll tell you why. Because there's this one time back in Rent. Oh my God, give up the rent already, dude. Oh, fine. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck your shitty acting and your shitty voice and get off my show. Hey, gladly. Hey, hey. Hey, I'll make sure to say hi to your wife while I'm sleeping with her tonight. She's my wife also, you fucking douchebag. Nah, fuck your mother. She's your mother too. <sighs> Rude. <laughs> fucking douchebag. Anyway, well, sorry guys. Obviously, this was a big mistake. Um... Anyway, thanks for sticking around, and don't forget to visit Charlie's Cheese Cutting Conservatory. <laughs> we'll see ya. Happy April Fool's Day, bitches. As always, the Midvale Main Street Theater podcast is sponsored, funnily enough, by the Midvale Main Street Theater. <laughs> Check out new and exciting updates on everything going on at the Midvale Main Street Theater by going to www.midvaletheater.com or check them out on Facebook and Instagram at Midvale Main Street Theater. You can find show notes and much more by going to our podcast's Facebook page at facebook.com slash podcast. Special thanks to Ashley Howell, Joel Clark, and Matthew Petrucci for help making this show happen. I owe you guys the world. I've been Michael Howell, and this has been the Midvale Main Street Theater Podcast. The views expressed have been mine alone and do not necessarily reflect the views of the Midvale Main Street Theater, its owners, or volunteers. If you've liked what you've heard today, please consider finding the Midvale Main Street Theater Podcast on iTunes, Stitcher Radio, or whatever podcast listener you're using and dropping us a five-star review. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at MMST Podcast. Thank you very much, and until next time, we'll see ya.